this song. I've heard this song before. Song's great. I think I actually have this on the playlist. Yeah. Good to do. But Skyrim's in depth because it's like Fallout in depth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's we, like that giant RPG game. Which I love. Dude, that's why I love Cyberpunk so much. I did take Sean's advice and I went from hard down to normal and now the game is fluid and now I don't spend 45 minutes on missions that should take 8 minutes. Do you understand that when I did that, I finally got out of that fucking hotel. You know what happened? Like, this cutscene happened. I got hit in the mouth. The game went black and was like, Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm like, I just played 4 hours worth of intro? Holy that was the shit. fucking introduction. Insanity, man. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. What's the deal with, like, PS5 and shit? I haven't heard anything about that shit. I don't care anymore, because I left the wars. I got a machine now. I got BBC. You know, it's a computer. I say that, like, kind of, like, as an asshole, but to be honest, I don't know. What do you mean? You're saying that because they're getting negative feedback, or...? I'm just saying it because I haven't heard anything about it. Well, the PS5 and the Xbox are so sold <coughs> out, bro, that scalpers are making tons of money. To the point that now, <coughs> there's like people that go out and scalp scalpers. <coughs> like, if I know you're a scalper, Sean, and you want to sell me a PlayStation 5 for $1,500, Sean, I've got cash. I need you to meet me at the mall in Topeka. All right, at three o'clock, right? And then I'm gonna call you at like 2.45, right? You're like, hey man, I can't meet you at Topeka. I gotta meet you at Kansas City, is that okay? So they're just sold out everywhere right now? Yeah, they're everywhere. My point is people are like scamming the scammers by making these like guys drive across town and never show up to pick them, like the shit up. You should bang that Pokemon girl on stream. And that's one of my only fans is for. <laughs> Did you just giggle at me? No. Did you just giggle? That's great. Come in, all in. <laughs> Stupid. What? PlayStation 5, $689. PlayStation 5, $1,000. PlayStation 5, $1,080. These scalpers, man. It's like, is it even... Is it even what? I have not seen one single consistent price. I want to know, like, what the base, base price is. Like, base retail price. Base retail price on what? Four ninety nine. You know Is this. It? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Five hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Four ninety nine. That's a double. Right. I think PlayStation Four used to be four hundred. Did you? Uh... I bought a PlayStation Four right after it came out. Yeah, me too. And they were they were about they were three ninety nine. But then eventually they made the version for two ninety nine the slim. Right? Or was that the PS3? Probably. Was that the PS... No, the PS4 had a slim. Probably PS4. No, I think it was the PS3, actually, because it slid PS3, open. PS3, I remember, was 2 dollars Yeah. I don't know. So it just goes up by $100 every, every time. Right. But now you got scalpers, which, in my line of work, AK Chimpokemon, like, bro, people, like, get thrown on the bus for... Like, those tens, like that pack I just opened, sure, I'm going to sell the cards for a reasonable price. But that box would have sold for a hundred dollars, and I paid forty bucks for it. So like these scalpers are going around and finding them everywhere. And if you don't know a secret spot or a distributor that has them low key, I pay a ten dollar markup just to get my price. 
you know? Mm-hmm. So, when it comes to all this other shit, bro, I think it's going to be the way of the future. Like, the way we actually get our goods now. It's going to distance the gap between the rich and the poor. It's crazy. Oh, you want a resource? Sorry, you can't find anywhere because homeboy's got them all. Because he's afraid. The toilet paper scandal of 2020 caused this to happen. Chimpokemon, everything. This horde mentality. Because we think it's going to end. That's why everyone's buying my cards and shit. Guarantee it. And Pokemon, like, reminds people of nostalgia in their in their youth when things weren't fucked up. Yeah. So, of course, they're reaching, they're grasping for it. And they're willing to throw their life's work at just a shot at feeling that feeling again. So they buy the Charizard for 45 k Now they have it on their wall. You know, so... I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah. What's up, guys? Josh is in the house tonight. We're going to take a look at some of his glass-blowing pieces, but... In the meantime... <coughs> we're talking about scalpers. <coughs> yeah, I don't... Shit is fucked up right now, God. Everything, bro. Have you seen any of this? Have you have you seen any of this craziness? Yeah, dude. Can you believe that? Isn't that wild. <gasps> like I've stayed off the rover. I don't know if anyone's watched Training Day, but when Homeboy goes to tattle on their 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 narco break in, like really they're just stealing drugs. But Homeboy goes to tell on him, and he's like, "Stay off the rover." Like that's what I'm saying when I say Facebook and shit. Like I can't handle people's opinions anymore. Oh, I know. It's no, too I, extreme, I, man. I've, I've also found myself not on anything, hardly. Like, I can't even, you wanna, like, look... You want a persona? I can't even, like, look at my Instagram anymore. What is this? Put them on. Look at me. Oh, hell yeah. I don't think so, dude. Hell yeah. I don't think so, dude. <laughs> It's actually him, worse than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I just gave him some blue light glasses, guys, that literally look like some <laughs> Harry Potter would wear. It's like those are like uh, those are like Waldo glasses. Yeah, no, it's it literally remind <laughs> reminds me of where's Waldo. Uh. Okay. Have you ever? When's the last time? When's the last time you opened a pack of Pokemon cards? Me? Yeah. I, I never have. You've never opened a pack? Huh. Dude, you're gonna bring some hella good luck then. Let me open it back. You are. We're getting there. We're not there yet. <laughs> Wait. No, I never have opened a pack of cards. I used to watch it when I used to, before I would before I'd get on the bus in the morning for school. <laughs> Gotta catch a mouch and poke a mouch. I watch fucking Pokemon, but I never did anything else. Well, Strange, huh? So, like, you would watch with anticipation for next week? Or, like, you watched <laughs> because you did not have any other TV It was channels. like this show that, for some reason, I watched. And... But why? Were you peer pressured? Because your Josh isn't the type of man to be peer pressured. No, I wasn't peer pressured at all. So you actually liked it. But you were kind I of a nerd. I did like it. You were kind of a nerd back then, though. I was, a, no. I was, see, see, back then I was, like, too cool. thought mm. I was too cool. For Pokemon. For Pokemon, yeah. Well, how do you do? You still feel that way? No. No. No, I think it's cool now. Well, that's awesome. I like the art. Yeah, that's. I appreciate some of the art. You know what I'm it's saying? Cool. Especially some of the different variations too. Some of the hippie shit too. Some of the trippy shit. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's do this. Why don't you show me the pieces you brought me, and then we'll open. We'll open some shit. We're back, everybody. Say hello, to Josh. Hello. Hey. What's up, guys? We're going hey, uh, to be taking a deeper look <clears throat> at really glass blowing. Josh has been doing this for like a couple weeks now. <laughs> Just kidding. He's been doing it for, how long have you been doing it? How long uh, have you been I've been doing it for like three years, probably. Really? But like, really. Isn't that crazy? Really, it's really off and on. How many total hours do Definitely. you think you've actually put into it? Dude, this one was a ridiculous amount of time. Really? This one, this, this probably took me like six hours. No shit? Like, Why? 
because it's essentially. So this is the center of your camera, my guy. Just remember that. Oh, gotcha. Because it's like three separate pieces. So really? this is a this is a piece. This is so a piece. So the color variation here and there. Yeah, it's essentially three different pieces, and then at the end you put them all together. But steps. I would assume when you fuse them together, bro, that's probably when they're most likely to crack and be destroyed. Exactly. Yeah. So as you build up <clears throat> to the moment in which you gotta slide into a new piece of glass. How much work are you at at this point when you go to step two or, or piece two? A ton because if there's any kind of like acute angles whatsoever, like if there's any kind of like sharp angles, you know, like ridges and things like that, it will fucking crack like every time. Damn. So when I stick these together, then I have to like focus tons of heat in here <clears throat> in this weld and it takes forever. Damn. So, so yeah, that's one, and then this is another one. And you're, this finally, is another connection. you're finally bringing me a piece. Total of three connections. Dude, this thing is sick, bro. This is an that, that was, Josh I mean, Drake. that's that's the hardest piece I've ever done. Like, I don't particularly love it. I, I mean, I do, but. Well, I know. You've, you've I, provided me I, more I, trippier ones. Like, this was, like, so hard. And then, like, to get it to stand, like. And you put water in it. No. No? No, it's you, just a, yeah, it's just dry. You could, couldn't you? No, you probably couldn't. No, you couldn't. No, you could not. <laughs> Sorry. And then it's sandblasted. Yeah, that so sandblast this, this is, is all sick. Sandblasted. That's why it's the matte look. What I appreciate about Josh textured. What I appreciate you about you, dude, is that like you have like raw artistic talent. So in context, like, bro, you you can scream your art into it. Like you're you, who you are. Like the matte black, the or not the matte black, but like the fucking matte finish with the sandblast. Fucking yeah. looks sick, bro. And plus, like, you learned a lot of this from Adam Reitz, right? Or did you yeah. just freehand a lot of this? Like, how did you learn to do this? Um, essentially, like, watching videos. But, yeah, Ad, Ad, Adam... way to this? There's a lot on... Well, there's a couple channels on YouTube that are pretty good. But, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I actually learned a lot from that. See? But then, yeah, Adam, Adam has showed want, me, kids. too. You can do whatever you want if you put your mind to it. <laughs> And what else do you have for me? I'm going to give you this. Dude. That's a... Uh, so... Oh my the, god. The it's actual, the evil Morty? The actual Morty piece is from David Kaminsky. I think it's how you say his name. Right. He's on Instagram. He makes all... He's pretty famous. And then Adam... Where'd you get case, this? Adam Reitz. <laughs> so, it's a... Essentially a... Uh, um, oh, this thing is sick. It's a collab, essentially, because Adam Reed's put it into the marble. Adam Reed's made the marble. So this is actually... Dude, that is so like, sick. Like, like, that image is literally, like, a sliver. Like, it's tiny. I know. It's epically small, dude. Because, that thing I mean, is... it's sitting on this black part, but then it's magnified by the, the lens, of course, but... Right. And there's, like, a little galactic game, like, a little space on the side. Like, mm -hmm. you can kind of see, like, the extension of some, like, lights... Dude, this is like one of the best gifts, bro. Thank you. This thing is sick. I thought you'd like that. You thought I would like it? <laughs> You're an ass. This is badass, bros. Let me see if I turn this light off. Dude, that thing is sick. The evil Morty. And then... Hell yeah. This is just a you know, piece of labware. So you made this out of actual, yeah. like, an it's, actual beaker? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's shit. actually from a lab. Yeah. No way. That thing is sick. Yeah. I think it's cool. Bro. It's just been sitting on my mantle. My Chemical Romance. <laughs> what, oh, so you'd have to put like a stem in here? Because it's water-based? No, that's dry. I'm just. Yeah. Oh, you can just hit it right there? Mm -hmm. But if I wanted to, I could run a stem all the way down. Oh, no, because the bowl's right here. Never mind. Mmm. Yeah. Even better. Okay. Okay. Sorry, man. You make intricate pieces without them being intricate. That was hard because that stuff's really thin. No, it feels thin. It Super feels like good. I could crush it with my bare hands. I'm not even strong. Dude, awesome. I'm glad you brought me a gift because I got you a gift, and that's just natural. So, like, he's moving to California. This is probably the last time I see him for at least a couple months because I'm going to fly out to California and see you. Yeah, you definitely need to. Bro, I'm going to rage out there in California. Yeah. Cause like there's gonna be times. It'll be like, cool. I'm in a really cool spot. And I'm just gonna be like, bro, leave the light on and the garage door unlocked because I'm coming in. Leave, hide your key, bro, because I don't care I if you're I home had, or asleep. I wish I had a garage. Well, 
you're gonna hide a key for me because there's gonna be times where you won't know I'm coming until I'm coming. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fucking right. You better dude. believe that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Dude. Right. You're giving me. You an come ex- in, I'll think you're like a fucking rapist breaking in. Listen, I'll tell you this much: I'm coming, and when I when I come out to California, I'm gonna rage. Like you give me an excuse to come out there. Come on, that's awesome. I'm excited though. I'm, I'm happy for you, dude. I hope you. Uh, it's gonna be cool. I hope you don't die out there, cause California is fucking crazy right now. Oh, yeah. Before we get to mm-hmm. some pack openings, let me uh, see where I put your car. You know, when I was getting my like, <clears throat> when I was setting up my renter's insurance, there's like a part of the policy is like lo- loss of use. Right. So like, if you literally can't live in your apartment because it's like unsafe, you know, <laughs> they'll they'll take care of that. They're nope. like, and I'm like, what about civil unrest and like, uh, you know, riots and shit? It's actually part of it. Really? <clears throat> so they're okay. I mean, kind of. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. As long as they're willing to pay. I thought it was important to ask. Because I'm literally going to be downtown. <laughs> you mean like, I thought it was important to ask. You know what I'm saying? These are from the movie decks, but I'm not. So these are like some of the, this is not what I'm looking for. Where the fuck did I put your shit, bro? I'll find it here in a second. I don't mean to be cursing. I don't know, I'll find it off afterwards, but I wanted to exchange gifts. No, I'll show. I, everyone needs to see the, the card I got you. But I just gotta find out where it is. Have you ever tried playing Hot Funyuns? Yeah. They're they're okay. That's on John Pong. They're not as good as... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not as good as the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, I don't think. They don't even like Flamin' Hot Cheetos, actually. They're not. You know, Flamin' Hot Cheetos Flamin are Flamin' Hot Cheetos are but... fucking terrible. It's not... It's not food. No, it's like they're powder like... dust. Yeah. You know? Well, Josh is a guru when it comes to health and dieting. Hmm? You're just like a guru, dude. I am, God. Just I thought you were going to give me a package to open. I am in a second. Once I, <sighs> once I give you your gift. I got to find it. You're going to find this excellent. You're going to love this. I, and no, I want a really, really expensive car. No, it's not. <laughs> and it's not. Here's the thing. Either, Josh. Thornton, yeah. Thornton, I want a really expensive car. Yeah, well, you know, shit, <laughs> shit in one hand and wish in the other. See which feels first. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hey, what are you worried about? There's the okay one. There's the card I was trying to give homegirl because she likes Giovanni so much. I need to take a quick picture of that so she can see it. Okay. Anyways, um, where the fuck are these dumb or frig are hey, these dumbbells? Is it okay to say how many cards you have? How many cards I have? How many cards do you have? I have like over. <laughs> 3,000 cards. Are you serious? Yeah, I have tons of cards, man. What? Yeah. You know, the safe's full of cards. Like, 3,000? You, you, you want to see my most expensive cards? Yeah. Alright. This I can show you. <laughs> yeah, show me, because I'm going to break in here. I can steal that fucking safe. Shut up. <laughs> Here's the thing about this safe. If anyone's hands other than mine's touch it, Giant spikes shoot out of it and rip through your hands. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby's Trapper Keeper? Yeah. <laughs> no, Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek Trapper Keeper? Yeah. Alright, guys. Let's, I need my haircut. Let's take a look at well, this, this collection. So, in no particular order, um, my car, these are the cards I'm sending off to PSA. Um, next week. So this Venusaur, and I'm not going to say pricing right now, but I'll just, I'll just like let everyone see it. Cause I want the PSA grades to come back, but Venusaur, Blastoise, and the Charizard I have two of, so I want to do them all three, so a collection set. Any nine or tens will be huge, a couple grand total, especially with the, with the Zard. Not a couple grand, maybe a grand. Where's the Zard at? Let's just showcase him now. I have so many Zards. Wait till you see the ones that matter, boys. These Zards, I, I think, sell for 500 if they PSA 10. 
Tell me if I'm wrong in the chat, if anyone knows. I'd be, it'd be grateful help. But in my recent two-month run, Josh, these are the money makers that I've pulled. So these, these three right here, and then I got another Charizard, but those are huge pulls in the new packs. So those come out of new packs, right? But then here's from my classic collection. Blastoise, second run, Venusaur, Skarmory, that's like a $2,000 card, PSA 9. Lugia, a $1,500 card, PSA 9. A first edition pre-release Aerodactyl, bro. This is insanity. This thing might be worth, in the long run, more than a base rate 8 Charizard. Like, check that thing out. Pre-release, bro, before, before it all hit the fan. So Tops did this thing, Josh. 5'11", weight 130. Yeah, just beefy. They did this thing, Josh, where Tops did a run on Pokemon cards and they made a puzzle Pokemon card set. And I pulled the Charizard Pokemon puzzle set. They're, uh, I'm really excited to see if that comes back as a 10. I pulled it out of this. One of these. Nice. Yeah. This is my very first pack. So, guys, the very first card I ever pulled... No one believes me. I was in the back of my mom's white Ford Mustang, 1998. I got a pack of Pokemon cards for $3.99 because I had shit trash television. I had the shitty little fake bunny ears because we were poor and Pokemon was on early. And when I watched it, I loved it, right? So I was like, mom, buy me a pack of cards. She's like, you can have one. Mom, I love you. Chimpoke moms. But more importantly, <laughs> like, I swear, I'm in the back seat and I pull through this and lo and behold, a shadowless Charizard. Boom. The Mecca. The pinnacle of pinnacles. Almost. But still, I hope it hits hard. We're going through the Zards right now. That's like, who knows how expensive that thing is. But this, hopefully, with the, with the base set, but with the hollow, or with the, excuse me, shadow, I don't know what. I'm hoping if it comes back a PSA 9.5 to 10, or a BGS 9.5, I'm hoping to get 12 hundred out of it fifteen hundred out of it maybe if it hits hot enough that one yep this one right here the japanese uh charizard this is actually a 96 run charizard right i don't know what i can get for this yet i don't know if i'm selling it it's a beautiful card it's a pocket monster <laughs> pocket monster back so before they actually called it pokemon it was called pocket monsters in japan so a 96 run instead of a 1999 charizard and then legendary pull two weeks ago, or last week out of all of this madness out of all the champions paths i hunted boys josh the ultimate card this was a 0.03 percent chance to pull so let me explain a half nice. a, th a third of one pokemon pack out of a thousand has this card wow yeah and That's boom awesome. charizard v max rainbow amazing rare or a uh, secret rare and that's, a, that's like a $750 card, $800 card if it comes back PSA 9, PSA 10. Maybe even more by the time I get them back. Thing's beautiful. Best, that was definitely the pinnacle of uh, D-Law's media so far. Many more pinnacles to come. First edition Lapras is getting thrown out there because I, I want to say the population value is so low, or the population count so low that if I can get like a 9 or a 10, Josh, it'll sell for a pretty, a, a pretty penny because it's beautiful. It has no real scrapes on it. Venusaur again, a cult classic. Here's the difference for the final time. The first set ever. America does what it does best. Does cheap, does quick, right? The centering's kind of off. There's no shadow or really rough detail. It's a very flat card. Oh, what? These kids fucking love them? Let's redo this. So then they redid Venusaur. See how there's a shadow? See that, how there isn't a shadow? Right here on the right mm -hmm. side of the box. That's the difference between a $500 card and a $200 card. Venusaur could be worth more, yeah. But he's scraped up, but he won't be, but yeah. Because it's a, that's the difference. So when I tell my story about my Charizard, there is some validity behind it. Because look, the second time that I pulled Zard, Shadow, compared to the very first time, that that printing is so shit. Like, it doesn't look, it doesn't look evened at all. It looks pulled. I think that's crazy that that's a grading point. It's yeah. Like how 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 like flat some, how some flat can it actually is. be like off a little bit and yeah on the printing yeah it's crazy dragonite so yeah that's the charizard runs these are just some extras but here's one of my coolest cards kakuna it's one of my favorites you know why shadowless but what did they do before the reprint everybody 
they fucked up. They put length and length instead of length and width. So this card says length two, two foot and it says length 22 pounds. $600 card. All right, here we go. All because of misprint, you know. And there's several more we could go through, guys, but I want to get Josh to rip through a couple. And I know you guys are getting flashed a, 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 a just a whamming set right now. But Mewtwo's for days. Uh, Gyarados. Ooh, a Mecha first edition Shadow List. That's a huge Nido King. It's a big pull. Raichu, Raichu. Are these all old? Are these all oh, yeah, these old? are all from my original collection, 1999. Every last one of these. Except for the few I showed you, like the, <laughs> the Zard. Like outside of that one, and then these guys. These are all over 20 years old from my original collection. They're finally getting checked in. You've sent some. Checked in the cash. No, we've talked about this. Some are in the safe. Some are in bank accounts. You haven't had any graded, though? No, I do. I have my PSA <clears throat> 8 Charizard. I've got a couple others. But my point is, I don't have access to those because they don't get walked out in public. You know, they're like $45,000 tokens. You know, a, a misprint PSA 8 Charizard sells for like 45 k right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's fact check me. I guarantee you'll find one for 45 that's sold recently. Either way, I want you to rip a pack or two. Why not? Yeah, it has to be good luck. I've never done it. Yeah. Right? So this Can't is the best part. Right? Gonna, well, since my boy came in the clutch tonight, we're going to have a bunch of minis to open. And we'll do we'll do these minis. Cause I think, are these old or are these new? So these are new, which is fine. You're not, hey, those are old. Those are 20 <laughs> years old and they'll never be opened. I, I've had them forever and they're worth like a thousand bucks a banger. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm leaving with those. Well, here's the thing, you're tiny. <laughs> I'll beat your ass. Oh. Alright, bro. So, when you open these, keep them all kind of tight together and the bang and the one that could be heat is in the middle. So all you have to do is open them and pull the top one off. What's, what's the proper way to open it? Let me show you. You just, you just rip it? You yeah. just rip it? No, so in the back... <laughs> Okay, Trump. In the back, you just pull your, you pull the T or whatever, pull it open like this. Keep the cards kind of tight. Your winner will be in the middle, so you just go bang and see how people can see it. That's mm -hmm. actually a really cool Nido King. I'm glad we actually pulled something decent right off the top. It's not a hollow, but we'll take it. Not a bad pull. So that's all you do. And then Persian's cool, but we don't care. My point is, these are dollar packs. Mm -hmm. They're not what we were pulling earlier, the expensive ones. So there's only one shot at a good one, and it's in the middle of all these cards. So when you keep them tight, the people at home can't see it, and that's better, you know, um, anticipation, if you will. Give the people at home what they want. What's behind Dratini? What we got here? Dratini? You tell me. What do you see? Ponyard. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. That's hilarious. Lavender Town. Perfect. Was that All right, do it again. Was that a shit deck? <coughs> yep, do it again. This is what they call the grind. So I spent 40 bucks on a stack of these, bro. And we've already pulled one uh, $20 card out of it, so we're ahead. We're not ahead, but we need, we need you to pull some heat out of here. And I've given you the hardest task. Here, you want me to crack for you? <laughs> he, he literally lifts Sorry. every day. And he does Stop it. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll stop it. But I don't want to. Keep, keep in the center now, bud. There you go. Cosmog. <laughs> he looks like the fart off Rick and Morty. Executor. Oh, okay. Well, he looks stoned. And white energy. Keep them tight. What do we got behind the box? Ooh, reverse hollow. Okay, we're heating up. We're heating up. <laughs> Dude, look uh, at the print on that. Yeah. Looks stoned. Looks uh, kind of acid-like, if you will, a little LSD. -y. All right, so what we're opening up, by the way, guys, is is team up, right? You know, we're and they look really cool, man. They're dollar packs. I'm not handing them to you. I'm showing the camera. Boom. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Eridos. There you go. Trema. Team up. Team up, beam up. 
Voltorb. Grass memory. Grass memory. More like ass memory. There you go. There might be Dude, some. I want to open them. Okay. Alden. All right, it's not good luck if you fucking open them. Come on. Very true. There's nothing <laughs> in that one. Got a hollow Gardevoir, very cool card. That's like a three dollar card. All right, we're heating up. We're heating up. No one cares. Well, that's a trash pile. Do the trash pile. Hey now, all we're keeping, Josh, are hollows and reverse hollows. Everything else can go on over here. All right. Persian, Magic Carp's going on the boat. Have you heard about the boat? Mm -mm. So, I'm going to take my earnings <clears throat> on Pokemon, and I'm going to buy a boat, and I'm going to polywrap it in Pokemon, and we have to decide throughout this podcast which Pokemon are deserving to go on the boat. Magikarp being a fish and a badass, he turns into Gyarados, he goes on the boat. Yeah. I like that card. Ooh. Nothing? Okay. This is a good pile. Keep everything over here. That's not... Uh, pulled a Lapras, Energy. That ball toy is different. I'll keep that one. Looks a little different card. Ooh. Entei, or, yeah, Entei's badass. Too bad it wasn't hollowed. That's a good card. I'll take that one. Put the good cards over here. Please. So far, no bangers yet. So I have faith in you, dude. this because I already touched those and I'm worth you opening <laughs> let me pick them out yeah so go ahead and grab whatever you want out of here to open from wherever you want all right I like this you like those and then grab a couple small ones from somewhere if you want okay all right do those then and then we'll wrap this thing up all right so you got four packs now this one requires an actual card trick all right so keep all those tight Flip the pack, or the whole deck over. Flip the whole thing over. So a silverback means we just had a heavy pack here. So there's going to be two hollows in here. If it was green, it, we'd be screwed. So take mm -hmm. four cards. One, no, just hold them. Two, three, four. Put all of them in the same order at the, at the bottom. Now flip the whole pack over. Boom. Now you can pull them off the top. Nope, don't let them slide because people will see them in the back. <laughs> Sorry. You're all right. Cup them. Pull mm -hmm. them off top. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. Dude, look at Haunter just licking a tree, dude. I always liked Haunter. Better than Gengar. Boom. I don't know. Schmel Schmelet? Helmet? Shelmet. Shelmet? Stuffle? Stuffle. The Truffle? Cacne? 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 Star you? Get fucked. Ghastly. Ashley. Ooh. Reverse Hondoon. That thing's sick, bro. What's behind it? That's the money card. Boom! Hell yeah. Holographic beware. Put both those right here, please. Boom. Alright, do it again. Same thing. Do it again. I'm gonna stab you in the face with the soldering iron. I've been watching a lot of Sopranos lately, bro. Maybe. It's been great. Love it. I need to watch it. So, nope, 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 nope. I need to watch Put it. The whole thing Sorry, over. guys. You guys didn't just see that? Uh, count four. Flip them over. Or no, put them at the bottom. Yep, now flip it over. Ooh, grass energy. Good sign. You can read it. You're a good reader. Electabuzz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buzzed. <laughs> Spell tag. <laughs> Cascoon. Cascoon. Marini. I don't know, Marini can get bent. She needs a haircut. Snub Doesn't Snubble look like the little the little, uh, the little bulldog that runs around here at the house? That's the first time I've seen that bulldog. Snubble. Uh, Slugma. Slugma. I like Slugma. He's fucking lava. Badass. Pick a peck. Pick a peck. It's a pick a peck. Does he go on the boat? Looks kind of sick. Hmm. 
He's kind of trippy. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know about Brock Six. Reverse. Ooh, Chikorita Reverse Hollow. So this is a starter. So like after Pokemon did its thing, the next gen of games they released, this was the new like Bulbasaur, if you will. Hmm. Yeah. Doom, and no one cares. No one cares. Both of them yeah. 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 Two packs left. While, while they're doing that, take your QR code if that's why you're watching. Boom. Great evening. Lauren's cool. Glad she came on. I like nerds yeah, that cool. like nerd things, you know? Did you do Gastro the trick? Nice, you did. Gastrodon. <laughs> More like Astrodon. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting memory. Graveler. Graveler, dude. He's just a literal boulder. He's rolling. Mischievous. Yeah. Shelmet. Not a fan. Cool. Another Shelmet. Swablu. <laughs> More like Swablu. <laughs> Go ahead. Swinub. Swinub. I hate that card. Jigglypuff can get buffed. <laughs> Ooh, reverse Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> Holographic, huh? What's behind it? Ooh, and no one cares. I'll take that, though. Oranguru. Oranguru. All right, I'll take these broke cards to wrap up, and then you got two packs left. Follow, like, the Those video. Those are real shit dick. Yeah, we Listen. haven't you haven't given any good juji, but that's okay. I don't want to rip through everything tonight. There's only three, yep. three cards in this. Let's day. see the middle one. Boom. Ooh, Violet Plume. Alright, that deck was worth worthless, I think. Really? Yeah. I don't think there's anything there. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Alright, there you go. That one does require the four card banger. Piece of art. You're welcome. God, that's going on the that's going on the shrine. Just gotta find a place for it. All right. Silcoon. Silcoon can get some poon. Trainer. <laughs> Fabi. <laughs> or I don't know what their names are because I can't read it upside down. Uh, Meryl, the Feral. Meryl. Onyx, dude. I think that's some trippy artwork. It is. I like it. Mortal. Mareep. Mm, Mareep the sheep. Wormple. Wormple. <laughs> That's a stupid card. <laughs> Sorry. That looks like a, like a... Ooh, no. what do we got behind it, though? Okay, okay. A spell tag reverse hollow. Is there anything good behind it? <sighs> Ooh, there is nothing good behind it. <laughs> All right. Hey. That's too bad. You know... I've been streaming since like seven. I'm 